Collagen comes in many forms, but the three main types you'll hear about are type 1, type 2, and type 3. Type 1 is by far the most common. It makes up around 90% of the collagen in your body. You'll find it in your skin, bones, tendons, ligaments, and other connective tissues, where it gives strength and structure. Type 2 collagen is mainly found in cartilage, especially in the joints. It plays a key role in flexibility and shock absorption, and is also present in small amounts in the eyes and inner ears. Type 3 collagen often appears alongside type 1 and is found in skin, blood vessels, and internal organs. It helps keep tissues elastic and is especially important during early wound healing. When it comes to supplements, only types 1 and types 2 are usually sold. Type 3 is less common on its own because it's already included in most natural sources of type 1 and tends to be less important as tissues mature. By the way, I review a lot of supplements here, so subscribe and hit the bell to stay updated. And support me on coffee if you enjoy the content. Now, supplements of these three types of collagen can come in two main forms, native or whole collagen and collagen peptides. Native collagen is the full unbroken structure, essentially how it exists in the body. It's large and very stable, which also makes it harder to digest. Collagen peptides, on the other hand, have been broken down into smaller, more digestible fragments through a process called hydrolysis. These smaller pieces are much easier for the body to absorb and use. Each form serves a different purpose. Native collagen, especially type 2, is often used in treating joint issues like osteoarthritis. It can help train the immune system to stop attacking cartilage by gently exposing it to whole type 2 collagen, which helps build immune tolerance. This makes it more useful for autoimmune-related conditions. Collagen peptides are mainly used for general nutritional support. They supply your body with key amino acids like glycine, proline, and hydroxyproline, which it uses to rebuild collagen and support tissues like skin, joints, and tendons. Most research on peptides look at how they support metabolism, repair, and maintenance. That said, most generic collagen peptide supplements aren't neatly divided into just type 1 or type 2. They're often a blend of different collagen types, all broken down into amino acid chains. The real difference between collagen peptide supplements comes from their source, whether the collagen comes from cows, chickens, fish, or pigs, rather than from the specific type of collagen they contain. When it comes to native collagen supplements, type 2 is the most common, usually derived from chicken cartilage, although a few are sourced from cows. Native type 1 and 3 collagen is rarely sold on its own. With that in mind, let's take a closer look at what human clinical trials actually say about collagen supplements and which forms are best suited for different health goals. When it comes to skin health, collagen is best known for improving hydration and elasticity. And the form that's most effective is collagen peptides taken orally, not topically. Native forms of collagen like type 1 and type 2 in their whole unprocessed state haven't been shown to help with skin health and aren't studied for that purpose. Clinical studies have found that taking collagen peptides in doses ranging from as little as 400 milligrams to as much as 12 grams per day for 4 to 12 weeks can improve hydration and elasticity in older adults. Interestingly, the source of collagen seems to matter. Fish-based collagen peptides show the most benefit, while chicken-sourced peptides may slightly improve elasticity but not hydration. That said, while peptides can help improve hydration and elasticity when examined closely by a dermatologist, it's not entirely clear if they actually smooth out wrinkles in a way that's noticeable to the average person, especially in the long run. For example, although people taking collagen peptides showed early improvements, there was no difference from the placebo group by day 84, showing similar results at the end. Taking collagen peptides may also help support skin healing in certain situations where the skin has been damaged. 
For example, one study on women with sun-damaged skin found that taking a specific collagen peptide supplement led to slight improvements in skin wrinkles, hydration, and elasticity compared to placebo. In another small trial involving burn patients, drinking a collagen peptide beverage helped wounds heal faster and even shortened hospital stays. Similarly, in patients with pressure ulcers, adding collagen peptides to their usual care improved the size of the ulcers and reduced discharge. There's also evidence from a small study on people recovering from laser hair removal that collagen peptides help ease redness and improve skin hydration during the healing process. In summary, if your goal is better skin hydration and elasticity, especially at the deeper layer level, fish-derived collagen peptides taken orally may help. But when it comes to reducing visible wrinkles, results may vary from person to person. There's also some promise in using collagen peptides to aid in skin healing. On the flip side, native collagen types 1 and 2 and topical collagen products don't appear to be helpful for skin health. Compared to the skin, the research on collagen for hair and nails is much thinner. So far, only collagen peptides have been studied in people, but even that evidence is limited. For hair, one study found that a supplement containing hydrolyzed collagen plus standard medication helped reduce hair loss better than the medication alone. But because the product included multiple ingredients, we don't know if the collagen was responsible. As for nails, a small study found that people with brittle nails who took collagen peptides for six months months saw better nail growth and fewer symptoms. However, the study didn't include a placebo group, so the results should be taken with caution. In practical terms, collagen probably won't do much for your hair or nails unless you're already dealing with a problem like hair loss or brittle nail syndrome. Collagen has been widely studied for joint health, and the strongest evidence of benefit comes from collagen peptides and native type 2 collagen. In contrast, collagen type 1 seems to offer the least support when it comes to joint-related issues. For example, several studies have shown that taking native collagen type 2 daily can help reduce knee osteoarthritis symptoms like stiffness, pain, and limited movement, even benefiting in people with complicating conditions like type 2 diabetes. Similarly, collagen peptides have also been shown to reduce pain in adults with osteoarthritis. Interestingly, collagen may also support joint health in healthy people without arthritis. In one study, individuals with non-arthritic knee pain experienced modest improvements in pain, stiffness, and mobility after taking native collagen type 2 for 12 weeks. Another found that it helped improve knee range of motion over 6 months. Collagen peptides have also shown some promise. In one early study, student athletes with joint pain who took a specific collagen peptide supplement daily for 24 weeks experienced modest relief. Another small study looked at older adults age 40 to 65 dealing with joint discomfort and found improvements in both joint pain and stiffness after taking a collagen peptide product for 8 weeks. However, not all joint conditions respond well to collagen. In people with rheumatoid arthritis, studies show that taking native collagen type 2 doesn't significantly improve symptoms based on standard medical criteria. So while collagen peptides and native type 2 collagen can help with general joint pain or osteoarthritis, they're not likely to benefit rheumatoid arthritis. Among the options, branded products like UC2 or NEXT2 may be more effective than generic collagen supplements. Collagen has also been marketed as a supplement to boost muscle growth, help with workout recovery, and reduce joint stress from exercise. But so far, only collagen peptides, not type 1 or type 2, have been studied in this context. Unfortunately, the results are not very impressive. In healthy adults doing resistance training, collagen peptides didn't lead to bigger strength gains than placebo. A study in active adults found that taking collagen peptides after exercise didn't make a noticeable difference in muscle soreness compared to placebo. Another study also showed that daily collagen peptide supplementation didn't seem to reduce muscle damage or help with muscle repair when compared to placebo. That said, collagen peptides might still be useful as a general source of protein and amino acids, especially for active adults looking to supplement their diet. However, collagen doesn't seem to offer any clear advantage over other protein supplements like whey protein in this regard. One study even found that the muscle-related benefits of collagen peptides were similar to those of whey protein in men. 
overall, collagen comes in several forms, and the type you choose matters depending on your goals. For skin health, hydrolyzed collagen peptides from fish or marine sources seem especially good for hydration and elasticity. For joint health, both native type 2 collagen and collagen peptides show benefits and can be taken together for more benefit since they work in different ways. Type 2 helps regulate inflammation, while peptides nourish joint tissues. For muscle support, collagen likely won't boost performance or recovery much, but it can serve as an additional protein source, though regular whey protein does the job just as well. Hi, I'm Dr. Brian Young. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Feel free to share them in the comments down below. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And if you know someone who could benefit from this, please share it with them. Finally, if you enjoy what we do and want to learn more, consider supporting us on Coffee, and be sure to check out our other socials as well.